Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's the Big Red Beard coming back at you, Brandon. Just uh, giving you guys a little heads up, a little uh, uh, info about what's been going on lately, and um, just kind of keep sharing my story little bit by little bit here. I know it's been kind of broken up, and I really am going to um, get better at you know doing these on a little bit more regular basis, and who knows, maybe I end up having a following at some point. Um, since I've spoken last, uh, my... Uh, uh, wife and I have uh, done some some very interesting things with our business. We've uh, stopped mostly sourcing at thrift stores, though we I, I still do a little bit here and there. Uh, we'll see how how well this decision um, you know pans out for us. Uh, what we've decided to do is start sourcing from thrift store or uh, excuse me th through um, distributors uh, online mostly. And, uh, you know, just finding, you know, either video games or, or various electronics, that's my forte. I don't know if I've kind of made that kind of clear in past videos. Uh, but, uh, you know, video games and electronics, household electronics, um, uh, just various things. Although we're opening our, our eyes up to more like to like clothing and, and other general household goods. Um, some, uh, trying to think of what we've just recently done. It's actually mostly just electronics, what we've recently done. But um, it hasn't gone super well yet. Um, you know, it's just uh, that's the the nature of the business. You know, you 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 win some, you learn, you you lose some, and hopefully you learn in the process. So, um, since uh, the last gosh eight months now, I cannot believe that it's been that long. Uh, I haven't really um, like kind of uh, uh, put out there, you know, what's been going on with my my wife and I. We took a trip over to. Um, uh, Europe and uh, decided to get uh, pregnant while we were over there. <laughs> we didn't actually decide while we were over there. We just got pregnant. Um, and so coming home, you know, I've been having to uh, somewhat change up our, our business because of that as well. Uh, my wife wants to come home, be a uh, full-time mom, uh, which is awesome. I am so excited and just, I, I just can't tell you, I'm, I'm just super, super excited that she's doing that. Um, but, uh, so, you know, we've had to make some, some sacrifices, some changes, um, and, and, you know, doing certain things just in a little bit of a different manner. Uh, a long time ago, I actually got my start, um, doing what I do now, uh, through selling on Craigslist and then lightly selling on eBay. My first month selling on eBay, I wanted to say I did like 4,000 in sales. So, I mean, by no means, I've said this so many times before. Yeah. I mean, not huge, not, not breaking the, you know, records or anything. But, um, but, you know, I mean, it was, it was a decent start. And then I just kind of let that go when I started doing Amazon because Amazon was just a lot easier. It was a lot easier to just send in all your crap, um, you know, to Amazon's warehouse, let them deal with it. And um, so you don't have to uh, mess with, um, like, return or um, mess with shipping stuff out, you know, when it sells, et cetera, et cetera. However, since then, um, with some of the changes that have, are coming about, um, we've gotten a lot so much, so, so much of returns from Amazon um, because, uh, you know, several, well, I mean, there, there's been several reasons. Um, part of it does have to do with the fact that I honestly did not know that I had certain restrictions. Um, other things had to do with um, that I was working with third-party software that either A, didn't tell me restrictions that I thought it did, and or B, uh, there were issues with the uh, connectivity between them and Amazon. And uh, so what that what caught or what ended up happening was that all my stuff ended up in stranded inventory. Like I think I, at the the peak I had something like four hundred items in stranded inventory. I was like, what? You know, I mean, it's just uh, our business tanked, and it was just it was not a fun time. Since then, I've gotten most of that taken care of. I think the remaining that I haven't taken care of yet is probably going to end up also getting shipped back to us. But um, in that process, we did have a ton of items that were shipped back to us, uh, even though we tried to get them back live online and, and just through one thing or another didn't happen. So... Um, we're just we're sitting on a ton of really really good stuff um you know like actual quality items not stuff that you know like um just you know garbagey you know the the remainder type stuff that you always see at like uh, garage sales not not that kind of stuff you know i mean good good quality stuff that's that's fairly valuable and so i decided that um while i'm waiting for my daughter to get here um, which she'll be born on the first. Um, uh, the doctors want to uh, give my wife a C-section if she doesn't give birth naturally by the first, just due to some some health complications. But um, 
that everything should be fine after that. But uh, <laughs> I lost my train of thought there. The um, oh, so wait, the the purpose where where we're heading um, is that while I'm waiting for my daughter to get here, I'm going to uh, start selling on uh, eBay once again. And I'm just, you know, like um, little onesie twosie stuff, uh, stuff that for one reason or another, once again, I couldn't sell on Amazon or that's just no longer really um, uh, good to sell on Amazon. You know, there's there's time frames um, that are good to sell on Amazon and anybody that's seasoned selling on Amazon knows this, where if you hit a product right at the right time, you'll do okay. But then there's a lot of knucklehead sellers out there that just kind of destroy the market for everybody and then you're just basically screwed. Uh, I'm actually dealing with that on eBay itself. Uh, I had, let's see here, what is it, a Sony? I can even show you maybe if I can do this. I don't know if you guys can see well enough right there. There's my screen. But it was a, a Sony um, five-disc CD changer, brand new, brand spanking new. And um, this, uh, uh, CD changer I bought for, I think it was like 250 bucks on Amazon in, or in, in the thoughts that I would resell it on Amazon because they were, everybody else was selling them brand new for like 500 and up. Well, um, come to find out, uh, Sony had blocked sp me on specifically that item, even though I, I can sell stupid other amounts of Sony products. I mean, it's just, it's ridiculous how much Sony we've sold in the last, I think it's been four and a half years now since we've been doing this. So, um, so I, I was holding on to that and, um, I was thinking I was going to sell it on eBay and I just kind of kept getting pushed back and pushed back and pushed back. And now this morning I went to look at it on, up on eBay and you saw probably there on the, on the screen there that they're now going for 300 and under. Well, I seriously doubt I'm going to end up selling it, but I, I did put it on there this morning for 499 finally. Um, and I, I just put, you know, good till, till it, it, it sells. Who knows if that'll happen? I, I don't know. Maybe I'm going to take a loss on this. Although, the plus side, and this is part of why I actually decided to make this video. I know it's been kind of a long intro, but the plus side is uh, just that all of the product that we had sent back to us, after a certain period of time, it effectively becomes free. And here's what I mean by that. So we have a business credit card that we use to pay for basically everything. And when we pay off that credit card, whatever we have left... We haven't paid anything for because what what we used to pay for it with has been paid back, um, and and we've long since had that paid off. So uh, effectively, that unit is free. So why am I griping over you know uh, selling it for three hundred bucks instead of five hundred? Well, because you know I mean it, it's kind of almost personal if you know what I mean, meaning that uh, you know I I bought it and I, I intended to make some money on it and I still want to make some money on it and I probably will throw in the towel here in a couple of months if it doesn't sell and I'll just sell it for whatever they go for, but in the meantime I am doing that with everything else that we have and we have tote after tote after tote after tote after tote full of stuff uh, mostly electronic mostly household goods etc but. Um, like, uh, this morning also, uh, let's see here. I don't know if I'm, I, I, I've got the camera backwards here, so I don't know if you guys can actually see this or not, but I've got these, what is this? Four, um, N64s that I'm, uh, going to be putting on, uh, eBay as soon as pretty much I'm done with this video. And I just got them tested. I need to clean them out, you know, clean them so that they're nice and shiny, um, look good for the camera. But I've had those sitting around for, I think, actually, no, I take that back. One, I think I picked up like a couple of weeks ago because it was a pretty good deal. Um, but the other three I've had sitting around since six months plus ago. So, I mean, I've had them for so freaking long. Once again, they're free at this point. You know, I mean, I don't have anything to pay for them. And currently, I looked up, um, there's only one uh, person that I saw that was really selling them in the condition that I'm selling them in, which is... A, a total system, meaning one controller, one power cord, one AV cable, and the main console, but no games, no other accessories, no nothing else. There's only one other person I saw really selling those, uh, and they were selling it for $62.99. Pretty good, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to hate on that, and I, I don't remember if it was including ta or uh, shipping or not, it, I think it was. But pretty good, and nonetheless. 
So here's my my thoughts and my my hopes for you guys um, that you, you you know you learn through the experience of experiences of others, uh, and you maybe n don't do what I've done, which is um, our house has gotten so clusterfucked. I mean, it's just it's unreal um, because of all the totes of stuff that we have. Uh, I you know I mean I I had uh, my my new uh, baby's room uh, her room was packed although I've I've since gotten stuff out of there and I've I've gotten uh, you know like walls painted and we redid a dresser in there for her to match the crib etc. Um, but so anyway so that that room's cleared out but my my office is still packed my shed that you guys have seen in previous videos is absolutely I mean it's never been fuller it's amazing how much crap I was still able to shove in there even though before it was stupid packed. Um. And uh, so, yeah, I'm just I'm trying to clear out space uh, with, you know, going through eBay. And my my thought is, is that I'm just going to put everything up for a penny plus shipping um, uh, auction. And it sells for whatever it sells for. If I only make a penny on some things, well, that's what I make because, you know, I mean, I'm going to have them pay for the shipping so I don't lose anything. But um, but hopefully stuff will sell for, you know, decent amounts of money and, uh, you know, we'll we'll um, just kind of get back on track. We'll start clearing out some space and start making room for for other things. So um, that's that's kind of my my uh, uh, message to you guys today is just don't uh, um, hold on to stuff for too long. Once it becomes free, which you you know, you know, kind of as as I just mentioned, you know, as soon as you've paid for the source of whatever it paid, it, whatever however it was paid for in previous, if it's been paid for, let it go, just let it go. Don't don't let it sit there and keep piling up because honestly, this business goes nowhere when you start becoming hoard ish. I don't want to say I'm a hoarder, even though my my wife might uh, uh, disagree a little bit on that. But I've, my intentions have never been to hoard anything. My intentions have always been to move. You know, constantly have product flowing, um, constantly bringing it in, constantly bringing or you know sending it out. So don't hold on to stuff for too long because um, you know it just it, it gets. Uh, things get put on the back burner and then that gets put on the back burner and then that gets put on the back burner and it just I don't know if that really made sense but it just keeps getting farther and farther and and harder and harder to uh, get back to um, when you keep um, focusing on you know like new stuff so anyway uh, let's see here that's been about 12 and a half minutes now so uh, I think I'm gonna let you guys go but uh, thanks for listening to me and uh, I will, uh, like I said, I will try and start doing these videos more often. Um, I would like to start a, a YouTube channel that I kind of keep up on. I think it's kind of cool. I follow a couple of guys on YouTube right now, and I, I just, I dig, you know, the fact that I always get to see something kind of new in their life um, on a, a weekly and sometimes multi-weekly basis. So, um, yeah. So I hope you guys are doing well, and maybe in a future video I'll show you guys, uh, you know, like the nursery and whatever else is going on in here. So have a great one. Take care. Talk to you soon. Bye.